Hey guys, so Phil Dragon here, again, covering another Dragon Ball movie, I'm going to be covering all of them, this is the fourth one, Lord Slug, so if you like these, obviously share them, uh, subscribe to my channel, so that way you can uh, hit the bell for notifications, that way you'll see actually new ones coming up throughout the weeks, um, obviously if you like watching my stuff, uh, check me out on uh, Twitch as well, so that's Dragon King 87, all the descriptions and links are in the uh, box below, so check all that out. Follow me everywhere, subscribe everywhere, do all that good stuff. Okay, so let's get into the film. So, Lord Slug, all right? This is a film made in 1991. Uh, it's 52 minutes long. Big upgrade from the last film I watched, right? So that film obviously was Tree of Might. This one is far better, right? So how this sort of starts is a weird start. You got Gohan, and you still got Icarus, okay? Icarus is kept from Tree of Might, all right? He's been brought over, which is kind of coolish, maybe. I know I'm not a big fan of Icarus, but hey-ho. Uh, so, right, so basically, Gohan is whistling at Piccolo at the start. He's trying to, like, <laughs> he's trying to, like, meditate at the waterfall, and then Gohan does, like, the most weirdest, awkwardest whistle ever, but then you see Piccolo, like, sweating, and like going, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell. So it's quite funny to actually see. So, because uh, it's the most annoying, it lasts like a minute straight, it's whistling. It's awful, awful. All right, so Lord Slug himself, right? You don't you don't know it's Lord Slug yet, but you kind of get the guess, right? So there's a, there's like a big ass moon shit thing coming towards Earth. Everyone panicking, everyone's in chaos mode. Everyone thinks the planet's going to get wrecked by this meteorite uh, and just shatter, you know. So, obviously, Goku, Krillin, try to stop him. Uh, really, quite a nice scene, actually. It's like, it's quite short, but, you know, it's really well animated, obviously. They're uh, coming home hard to sort of stop it. You know, it just gets bounced off it, does, it does zero, okay? Uh, but what actually happens is the moon sort of like, <laughs> moon ship thing, sort of like, misses the Earth. It just like, goes off randomly, all right? And then... Uh, so Lord Slug ship is then left on Earth. So the premise of this is basically Lord Slug is um, I won't say till a bit later, but he just wants to sort of like terraform the planet to become his new vessel. All right, that way he could carry on going across the galaxy and so forth. So he needs an entire planet to be his next his next sort uh, of ship, which is quite weird. All right, uh, he also finds out the Dragon Balls are here, and people are like. How does he know what the Dragon Balls are? You know, it's said several times, and also it's referenced that he's very old, right? He kills one of his guys for mentioning that he's really old and he doesn't have time for this, so he kills one of his dudes, all right? Uh, so, time frame of this, this is clearly before Namek Saga, all right? This is clearly before that. Again, they all seem to be before that. Uh, they all seem to be when he's learned Kaokan. Gohan still, still freshish. Uh, he's a bit more you know, more courageous than this, you know, he goes out looking for the fights, he goes in for it, you know, he's not a, much of a pussy crybaby at the moment, but you know, he, he you know, goes on, he's complete on his own to see what's going on and to start fighting them, you know, he, he wrecks, he wrecks all the minions there, and they're quite cool, like Lord Slug actually does eventually pop out, because uh, he wants to find these Dragon Balls, he, he, he knows about them, he wants to see where they are, so he uses Bulma's, uh, yeah, you can read mine, so he wants to see where Bulma is, uh, uh, hiding all the Dragon Balls, whatever, he's got the Dragon Radar, which he finds out, uh, and he obviously gathers them all. He's got like an hour, it's quite funny, it's like, he's very dominant with his minions, alright, so if they don't give him the right answer, he'll kill them, alright, so he wants one of these guys to terraform the planet fast, uh, so he goes, oh, it'll take ten days, oh, it's too slow and he blasts him out and the next guy's like shit himself he goes if I say three days uh, will you not kill me he's like no three days is fine he's like okay it'll take three days so it's just like what so even though he won't be right uh, it's quite funny to see that everyone shit themselves they're just saying what he wants to hear not what's actually going to be true so quite funny to see alright so obviously Goku's knocked out because he got smashed in by that uh, meteorite thingy or the planet uh, the world's kind of like freezing over because they're taking all the energy for it to try and terraform it. All right, so everyone's trying to stop the dudes. There's some real good fights. The minions in it are actually pretty cool. Uh, mainly like this little frog dude who, uh, you know, wrecks Gohan. Uh, he has like, after Gohan destroys those, the shitty minions, the, the two like main henchmen or three henchmen come out. Uh, they kind of like, uh, Piccolo annihilates one and Gohan uh, sort of like, does holds his own until he get eventually gets all his energy wiped. So you know it's it is 
pretty damn cool. All the fights in this is done done well. I, I I really like it. You know, this is a big, big upgrade from Tree of Might. So they've done a good job. And some of the scenes are quite well animated. So to be fair, like Piccolo's that you know, he is strong now, he's getting stronger, he's showing his dominance against like even like one of the more stacked henchmen. You know, he, he sort of wipes the floor with him. Uh, but unfortunately Gohan's not holding his own very well. Uh, he he's sort of like trying, but this this frog dude, <laughs> this frog dude's just like doing some sort of like mad barrage, uh, wipes him so sort of wipes him out with these old weird little memes that come out of his back. Uh, gets on him, they drain his energy, and so that's him. It's not said where these dudes are from. They're so the thing that Piccolo's fighting kind of looks like Dodoria. It's sort of like got the big uh, spiked forearms. Apart from the wings, everything else is pretty damn similar. All right, but unfortunately, Gohan's sort of getting wiped. So Piccolo sort of sees it, goes to protect him, and then and then the frog dude and the other dude, I don't know what the names are, they just sort of wiped, you know, they just blasted loads of key blasts at them and sort of like took them out. I don't know what happened there. Hey, so going on some of the other screenshots of uh, Conan Exile. So anyway, uh, so yeah, so Goku's all healed. Yasurobi gives him a Zenzu Beam, gives him a Zenzu Beam out, a bit of reluctance. Uh, amazing scene uh, that goes on here. Like, it's really like Goku showing ultra, ultra power. He's sort of just stands there, does nothing and lets the frog guy throw all his like uh, energy absorbing sort of dudes on him and he sort of just stood there, stood there <laughs> and the frog comes to <laughs> keep on the frog and uh, the frog comes to jump on him and he just wrecks him with like a single punch. So this is like showing that Goku's way above these guys levels. He's got no dramas at all. Yet all these guys are very feared fearful of her Lord Slugs. That's telling you how big and bad Lord Slug is. But the problem with it is, because he was so old, he finally got the Dragon Balls, and he wished f to be young again and for eternal youth. So he got two cheeky wishes in one. So he didn't wish for immortality, he wished for eternal youth. He just didn't want to get old again. Does that mean, that? which means he's not unkillable, it just means he'll never grow old forever. Kind of like a vampire kind of thing. So. It is good. Lord Slug finally pops down. The fights are going on. You don't really know what he is because what he looked like when he was super old, you cannot tell. But there's quite a cool reveal that he's actually a Namekian. That's why he knows about the Dragon Balls, right? And then uh, the weirdest thing ever happens with Goku. Like, I did see something about this before in the past that uh, he becomes a Super Saiyan in this. Even King Kai's like, he's become the legendary form. He's become a Super Saiyan, but it's really like lackluster, lasts, lasts like 15, 20 seconds. I think it's because they didn't want to keep using the KO can. So it's like, oh, what what else can we do? We'll make him Super Saiyan, even though he sort of like had reddish hair, uh, didn't look that great. Uh, he, he was just like a bit more powerful than that. And it was just like, you know, it was not Super Saiyan. They hadn't even got to Namek yet. So he's not hit that form, but they just, like I say, these aren't canon. But he randomly become a Super Saiyan in this, which looked nothing like it. So you probably see it on the screenshots sort of soonish, and it was very odd. Like because obviously Goku was getting dominated. This is like the most out of place bit. All right. So obviously um, there's actually two very weird, <laughs> weird scenes in this, and it's not well. Yeah, the Super Saiyan bit is friggin' weird. Uh, the 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 fact that he's a Namek's cool, but it's not that he was actually just a Namek. He was a, a super Namekian, which is like an ancient. It was like classed as an ancient tribe of Namekians that were more, you know, tyrannical and barbaric, and they wanted to dominate. So they all got like banished, banished from uh, Namek to just become nomads and wander wander the universe, or doing what they do. So they're, they're much more of a super powerful race uh, that are you know. The, the sole thing is to conquer, all right, and that's why they were banished, they weren't part of it. All right, that's his Super Saiyan form. You know, he hits something as well, and they'll sort of have a burning energy going on, which is which is pretty cool. But, you know, it doesn't it doesn't hold its own, as you can see. It, it, it's got a sort of golden, like, Jesus form going on, but it's not the Super Saiyan whatsoever. It's sort of like I say, he's got gingery hair, more like a Super Saiyan god sort of tapped. But not by a long shot. Then it vanishes. You'll never see it again. Won't be referenced in the rest of the film. You know, it was just, 
a bit that shouldn't have been there. All right, so obviously it's like I say, it's interesting form. Like it's a super Namekian. Uh, Piccolo's obviously mentioned about um, super Namekian, but that's him saying his version of Super Saiyan. Uh, that's I think that's more like in the Cell Saga. So he's saying super Namekian, uh, but it is cool because obviously it becomes quite a fucking one-sided fight. You know, Goku can't win. You know, anything he's doing, he just gets wrecked. He's massive now, uh, Lord Slug is. He's just wiping him out, just arm stretches everywhere, starts grabbing him, crushing him. You know, it would have been cool if they had Uzaru going on, and that way kind of Uzaru versus Lord Slug. You know, that would have been quite cool, just a big giant fight, okay? Weirdest, weirdest ending now, the weirdest ending to the film, all right? How it started was obviously Gohan whistling the most retarded, annoying, horrible, you know, song that's ever been heard, right? So Piccolo decides to rip his own ears off, you know, he literally just tears them off, and he's like, Gohan, you know, whistle, whistle, remember how you whistled before, whistle again like that, so, because Super Namekians, that everything's heightened on them compared to normal Namekians. Obviously, the speed, strength, size, and hearing, eyesight, you know, everything's amplified. So, how horrible it was for Goku, uh, sorry, how horrible it was for Piccolo, it's even worse for Lord Slug. Okay, so obviously, Piccolo uses him being sort of stunned with that to go give Goku the last bit of energy he's got to help him out. And then Goku goes, gets some spirit, uh, some energy from the sun uh, for his spirit bomb, and then basically wipes wipes uh, Lord Slug out. So, you know, the whistle thing's weird, the Super Saiyan thing is weird. They're two very odd things in this film that mess that I didn't really like. Okay, everything else in it was cool. Yeah, it's a real good film compared to, you know, I, I mean, the world's strongest is, is so far out of the beginning ones, probably the best one I've seen. Yeah, that's real cool. Um, and this was actually really good. Um, definitely, definitely nice going through these, but yeah, that's basically it. I would say, you know, I'm not giving, I don't like giving these a rating out of 10, but it is, it is well worth watching this one. It is actually a fun watch, some funny moments, some good scenes in it, yeah. The story's pretty interesting about being a super Namekian, an ancient race, you know, that was pretty nice, okay. But that's pretty much it. I say like, comment, share, subscribe. I check out my stuff on my Twitch and everything. And that's it, guys. I'll see you later from me. All right, bye-bye.